socially taller stature men are usually associated more with confidence, more with masculinity. For in study, studies show that women generally prefer partners who are slightly taller than average, probably definitely taller than themselves. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today I have a very difficult question for you. Would you rather be very short and ripped and jacked or tall, have the height, but you just look average? Now, this is a question we did on a recent other video other than the podcast called would you rather a new series that me and Tyson have been doing, asking questions to different people. I'll break it down in a second, but it, it opened up so many so much research and thoughts and ideas and like breakthroughs. And it, it was worth doing an entire episode, just doing the analysis of that video. And before we get into it, make sure you check the pinned comment down below and down in the description below for access to the free 40 day daily discipline habit and transformation challenge, the freak mode 40 completely free. It's a full $200 course, completely free just be, for being a listener of the Steve Eckert show. And that includes a fitness program. Check it out. It's freakmode40.com or just check the link down below for complete free access for 40 days. Just for being a listener of the Steve Eckert show, which is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt overcome and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business. So you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together and start living life on your own freaking terms. So let's dive into this, this would you rather video that we did. It's a new, new YouTube series where we're asking, asking military, military members, veterans, special forces, paramedic, firefighters, paramedics, firearms instructors, BJJ black belts, professional Muay Thai fighters, social media influencers, entrepreneurs, and empire builders, these, these thought-provoking questions. And then I want you to put down the comments below, what was your choice of this specific question? What did you come up with? What was your answer to this question? And, and this this is just part one. We have we have literally already fifteen episodes recorded. They always have to be edited out, which takes ten times more than the recording process itself. But tons of of these deeper questions and funny questions, funny answers. Like you don't want to miss this stuff. So check this out. These these again thought provoking questions that you must make a choice. You must sacrifice one for the other. In in all these would you rather videos, it's basically you're choosing A or B. If you choose A, and this is for life, if you choose A, you can never have B ever again the rest of your life. If you choose B, you can never have A ever again the rest of your life. But the way it is, they're kind of opposites of opposites. So it's either A and B or the opposites of A and B, which is a tough choice. It's the opposites of opposites, we call them on most questions. So this one was, would you rather be kind of, five, we said five, seven for, is for men and for women. We had to scale it down or for shorter men we had to scale it down but in general if you say you were a six foot man would you rather be five seven so you're kind of losing your height you're a below average height because five nine is the average american's height so either five nine but you're ripped and jacked you get to sculpt your body however you want it to look the perfect ideal fit body or you go for the height you're six feet or above or whatever height you want to choose unlimited whatever height you want it to be but you just look average. We call it the, the meh look. You just look like you never stepped foot in a gym. And again, this is, was only cosmetic. This had nothing to do with function or form. So either one of those two people, this dude just headbutted me. Why do I have the, I must have this little stupid bobblehead in the, my, the, the producer, producer who took 10, like 10 times the amount of time to set up this podcast told me I have to mention this bobblehead or he's not going to let me play bingo when I'm older and he throws me in a nursing home. He's not going to let me play freaking bingo if I don't mention a bobblehead. I don't know what that's all about, but there's the bobblehead. I want to play bingo. Let's keep on, get back on with 
the freaking show. And so this is like, this ended up being like a social experiment. Yeah, it's for entertainment. Yeah, it's to see what these different people from all walks of life have to have to say about it. What is their answers and why their reasoning behind it? But it turned out to be just a, a social experiment about why people chose what they chose and, and different types of people and, and why what their perspectives were. It's, it was turned out to just be a freaking awesome experience. And this was just one question, this first episode. And again, we have 15 episodes already recorded that just now need to be edited and all that other stuff. So again, this is only cosmetic. So if you're either one of those people, if you're going to the gym every day and training every day, or you're sitting on your ass, you're either going to, you're going to have whatever attributes of strength, conditioning, cardio, endurance. You just never have the ability to change the way you look. You're stuck with that look for the rest of your life. So strength aside, performance aside, this is cosmetic, aesthetic, looking only, and it, we got some interesting answers because, all right, so first off, to get a little idea. So we started, we went five, seven, probably we could have went even a little shorter. I think like five, five, maybe even lower for men to make it more extreme, but whatever. We did five, seven, or six feet and above. So that's a five inch swing, at least at minimum. You know, the average height for men in the United States is five foot nine. Average height for women in the United States is five, three and a half. And for, for men, that's the, it depends on race. The, the race of non-Hispanic black men average five point five feet, 9.3 inches and Mexican American men averaging five feet, 6.9. So it's a range. It is averages go higher, lower, depending on nationality, race, and even different countries. We're going to go into different States. Even what States have the tallest people. And for, for women, again, the, the average height was five, three and a half, the average American height. And according to surveys though, the desired height for average American man is generally considered to be a little slightly taller than the average male height. So if the average male height is five foot nine in, in surveys, studies, whatever the hell you want to call it that they've done, many men have expressed the preference to be around six feet tall, indicating that most American men would like to be taller than the average height. So let's let's see what let's break down some of the results we have of some of our people here. So let's start with Byron first. We had Byron was the first one. I might have went out of order. I think these are one the order we had in the video, but for some reason I think it's out of order. But it doesn't matter. Byron just said no matter what, he needs to be jacked. He needs to be yoked, and it was all about being fit. Didn't care the height. So I wonder. And that was at five seven. I wonder if it was five five or five three even. Let's even say five feet. Would he still? choose the the muscle and the ripped over the height if we went a little more extreme in the height. So I wonder, I'm going to have to do some follow-up questions with them. We won't need to do a video on it, but just I'm curious, what was the, what's the, what's like the breaking point on the height for the, for the people that chose five, seven and ripped? Like how low would it have to go where they're like, no, fuck that. I need the height. I can't go that freaking short. So I'll have to find that out. And, and then there was the, the medic, the paramedic, military veteran, uh, combat medic Matt Eveland, who chose five seven and ripped again because he wanted to be shorter and have the leverage in fighting, and and we made it clear to every one of these people it was just looks only. But a lot of them gave their reasons outside of looks, which was interesting. Even though we said it's looks only, not performance or strength or endurance base. Uh, there's also a, a like like I said, culturally, like socially taller stature men are usually associated more with confidence, more with masculinity, which is probably why most men are, have the desired increased a little more than above average height, slightly above average, uh, usually around six feet. Also socially on the, the, the area of their partner, partner preference study, studies show that women generally prefer partners who are slightly taller than average probably definitely taller than themselves. You've probably seen those people out there where it's a woman's like five, seven or five, nine with a five, six, five, whatever, something dude, like, and it's, it, it sometimes could look awkward, but whatever still works for them. Not saying it's anything wrong with it, but just saying that's what's preferred socially. But of course it can depend on what their lifestyle is, what their goals are, whatever, all that other stuff. Then we had Bedros, who is a 
one of my original coaches. He's an entrepreneur, a founder of Fit Body Bootcamp. And he took the, and he's six feet tall. He took the short and ripped and jacked. And he mentioned that anyone who needs the height is, is, has some confidence problems because they need the height to feel confident. Because we mentioned people that are taller have in general socially looked at as more confident, even if they're not. So he said he doesn't need the height. He'll take the short and ripped. And anyone that does need the height probably has lacking in confidence. And then you go to Matt Ortiz, the next one, who's a, a fighter, a M- MMA fighter in the past, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, also a or runs a squire program out in Illinois. It's a father-son, a full-day experience, rite of past experience for fathers and sons. So check that out, squire program in Illinois. He took the height because he said he'd like to be long and lanky for fighting. So look, we had one other guy said for fighting, he'd rather have you lower for the leverage. Another one wanted the fighting for the tall and lanky to have the reach. But then that's a fighter who says he wants the height. And right before that was someone saying anyone who chooses height has some confidence problems. So some in, this, this is the whole point of this study. Different people for different reasons, their own perspectives come across and, and give their reasoning behind it. And it just, as we break it down, these answers kind of showed a lot of things about how people think, how people operate, what works what works for them. And the what was we were studying of these different numbers and statistics around the, the country, around the world, just as we were getting into this height thing to see, all right, do, do men generally want to be taller? Do women usually generally want taller men? What is the average heights of different men? Does it matter by race? Does it matter by geographical location? And actually the tallest men in the United States live in Iowa and Alabama, which is freaking weird, which actually now I'm thinking about it, Iowa was the medic who choose, chose the short and jacked, but Iowa and Alabama have the tallest men. The tallest women, for whatever reason, I don't know, I can't explain it, is freaking South Dakota. I don't know what the hell they're having the water in South Dakota, but the tallest women, average height in women in the United States is South Dakota. And then here's a funny one. Not funny, but interesting one. Hawaii has the shortest average men and women, both are from Hawaii for whatever, I don't know how that works out that way. And here's something crazy that Americans are actually getting shorter. We're shrinking. I wonder like what is causing that? Is it lower levels of testosterone? Is it the shitty artificial colors and all the the chemicals and shit that we're we're eating? Is it I don't even know what lack of positivity, poor mindset, depression, just slumped down? Are we at the computers too much? And it's literally we're we're almost evolving as a human species. We're becoming shorter. Because the average height of Americans has been declining since 1980. In, in 1985, a 19-year-old American were 19-year-old American men were the 36th tallest in the world for countries, and women were the 38th. By 2019, so 85, 95, 05, 25 years, 24 years later, they had fallen to 47th, from 36th to 47th, and women fell from 38th to 58th. So. They, we are shrinking, and the women even more than the men. The women went down even more according to the height of, across the world. So American men and women are literally shrinking. I don't know what's up with that. Getting smaller. It's got to be something to do with the, the food and the diet, the nutrition, the prescription drugs, the whatever else, but we're literally fucking shrinking as Americans. It's freaking nuts. Another 100 years, we're going to be like little fucking dwarfs running around like little fucking Christmas elves running around and just taken over by all these other fucking countries that are giants just like coming through and stomping their feet like Snoop Dogg when he came through and crushed the buildings in New York City in that in that music video of his. I forget the name of it. I know he came through and crushed all the buildings in New York with it. He's like a giant. That's what it's going to be like if we don't start. I think it's got to be a health thing. It's got to be a health issue. It's got to be a nutrition thing. It's got to be a, almost a mindset thing. We're almost just so... Uh, a lifestyle thing crunched up in our little balls and our little freaking cubicles, not moving, not standing, probably not active enough. And your bone density is just shrinking, causing genetically to, to evolve. We're evolving. We're almost, we started off curled down and uh, uh, they say evolution and apes and men. And then we're walking up, right? Now we're going back. Look, we're all slumped over on the computer, checking our phones all day. We're like fucking cavemen again. And of course, 
genetics, nutrition, and, and access to healthcare can play a role in height. And there's plenty of factors. We're just talking on the surface here. This is not that fucking crazy or too serious. Don't get all offended if you're from Iowa or South Dakota or Hawaii or whatever else, or the tall countries, the short countries, whatever it is. The, ne- the next one in there was, was Tarzan, the animal enthusiast, fitness freak, things of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, blue belt. And he wanted the height. He, he compared it to Fedor Emelianenko, one of the greatest heavyweight MMA fighters of all time. And, and if you look at that guy, you look at a picture of Fedor, he just looks like a schlub. You'd see him on the street and be like, wow, that's a guy's a slob. Meanwhile, the guy is considered the Muhammad Ali of MMA, the, the greatest heavyweight fighter pretty much in history of, of, of mixed martial arts. And he looks like he's out of shape. He looks fat. He looks like he, he drank too much vodka and, and how many too many pierogies or something. But he's the greatest fighter ever, knocking dudes out, great conditioning, technique not that that great, but it's good for him. He has his own wild style of te- aggressive technique, ground and pound, great with submissions, great with submission defense, great toughness and chin, like all around, just a, 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 a freaking warrior, savage monster, but looks fluffy. He looks freaking fluffy as hell. And that's what Tarzan compared it to and said, you know what? He can get away with it. You can still be a great fighter with that look. I'll, I'll take the height instead of being a shrimp and 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 just because that's going to make me ripped. I want the height. And then Chris, who's a, a Air Force Special Forces, said he's used to being short. And then right after him, who's who was Kenny, who's taller, six feet tall, said he's used to being tall. So look, this is the the weird, uh, oh, I don't know, weird part about it, but one of the, the takeaways there was the tall people are, for the most part, there weren't many tall people six feet and above that chose the short. Maybe only one. One or two maybe tall people, like six feet and up, chose the shorter option. It's like once you're tall and you could see a certain level and you're used to living at a certain level, like you can't imagine being down here and, and, and seeing the world in a whole different perspective. So, And Chris was the opposite. He's used to being short. It's like, I'm already short. I'm used to being short. That's fine. I'm good with it. So what's a couple more inches? I'll be fine. Like if we, we cut his is down to even a, a couple inches shorter. Like I'll be freaking fine. So, but also it's, I, I kind of get this feeling in this sense from the research, right? If men generally want to be taller, but the short people are not choosing the tall option when on camera, is it that they have to say, yeah, I'm good with being short? Because if they don't, it's like saying, I don't like myself. I'm not content. I'm not confident. And I, I, you know, I want to just be a little bit taller, like that song goes. I forget who the hell was it. It was a horrible song, but I wish it was a little bit taller. I wish it was a baller or something, something, something. I forget what the hell the song was. I don't remember what it was, like D something. I don't know. Anyway, the short people are kind of have to say, yeah, I, I'm short. And I would, I would pick being short because if, if they don't, it's like they're just living in that dream of, oh, I always wanted to be tall. Poor me. And it's saying that they're not confident. They lack confidence being short. So they have to choose short. And then the tall people, for the most part, are just so used to being tall. I don't think you think it's a confidence thing. It's just a almost a familiarity thing. They're used to being tall that it's they can't imagine looking at the whole world from a different perspective. It would be a, almost a culture shock for them to do that. Uh, a short people, a short person going to tall wouldn't necessarily be as much of a culture shock as a tall person going to short, I don't think. So here's some other statistics about American men. Do you know that, like what percent of American men are six feet and taller? So only 14% of men in the United States are over six feet. So 14% over six feet. And only three or 4%, 3.9% are six foot two or taller. 3.9% are six foot two or taller. That's freaking crazy. That means 4%, 96. It means if you're six feet tall, you are taller than 96% of Americans. And if you're six foot two, you're taller than 94% of the entire world. If you're six foot two, that's great. You don't realize that six foot two, you don't think of it as that tall compared to like real tall giants you see. But if you are six foot two, you're taller than 94% of the men in the world. So I can see why height is something to do with confidence. It's like, oh, this is a very uh, rare thing to be up there. And how, how many are over six foot five, like even a taller height? The, the percent of American men who are over or six feet five or taller is 
is point zero point one seven percent point one seven percent so it's a tenth of a percent not one percent point one percent point one seven so say point two percent not one percent that's it is six foot five and above so that's even more rare and then we broke down charts like because when you started seeing this we started saying all right these people pick this why did they pick it the tall people pick this why did they pick it let's look what are the what are the ideal heights according to, for men according to body weight and if you're a five foot ten your ideal body weight is 149 to 183 i feel like 149 is way too freaking skinny for a five foot ten dude to weigh 149 you're a freaking bag of bones up to six feet average ideal weight that says 160 to 196 for six feet i'm six feet i'm about 185 is my normal average in between weight i'll drop down if i'm like cutting weight or i'll maybe put a little on if i'm putting on some size but average around 185 ish maybe 183 ish and and i feel good there but up to 196 it says for some of that six feet tallest race in the world if you didn't know is are are the dutch people who are uh, the tallest overall they're five almost five foot eight average men and women combined are five foot eight which is pretty crazy considering men in the united states average is only five foot nine then the only woman that we had in this so far in this first video we do have a second video that's coming down many months down the line uh, she said she's already short and ripped she's used to it and then ruben who is sh already short and jack said he's already short and jack so he can never give up being jacked he can't imagine being given giving up being jacked and he's already on the shorter side so he's sticking with it and then tony who is our aging athlete said he doesn't care about height he's sticking with it he's all about all about self-defense and tactics and control your emotions controlling your fear and so that the height wouldn't help him control his emotions or help him in that area it could sometimes help in self-defense couldn't hurt having some size when you have that knowledge but he chose the short didn't care about it but it shows the importance of priorities what truly matters and yes we have some funny stuff and some huge lessons but it showed some lessons at least for me personally what i noticed is that like the the health health and fitness is the the top priority over everything in the world we've done the other questions coming out in the future just a little bit of a a, a a teaser when it has to do with uh, being in shape or having money or being in shape and a type of job or being in shape and a type of food you could eat and for me health and fitness and strength is paramount that literally outpowered all of those things even life even the length of your life we did plenty of these other studies plenty of other questions coming down so make sure you don't miss any of those and I picked, I ended up switching back and forth so many times. I started short and ripped. I ended up my final answer saying, I'm taking the tall as hard as it is to say. I'm just used to the height. I'm taking the height and the reach, the tall and met. Because again, remember, strength was a side. And Tyson picked the short and ripped. The final scores was seven to three. Seven out of the 10 that we, we interviewed for this first video picked the short and ripped. Only me, uh, then there was Kenny, Tarzan, and Matt Ortiz picked the tall and meh that's 70 percent. pick the short rip 70 percent need to look good and don't care if they're shrimps to look good that's what it was and these are the kind of things we saw and that we broke down in this episode so make sure again check the link down below for the free freak mode 40 40 day discipline habit and transformation challenge that's all part of the freak father alliance which is a men's mentorship group coaching program where you focus on your your mindset muscles money mission mastery and meaning where we help you create a life you don't need a vacation from live a life people think you're lying about and build a legacy you don't have to wait a lifetime to start living it's where i help fathers and men develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle make more money have more meaning so they can attack their mission to create their ideal lifestyle with time freedom for their families so check out that link down below completely free a full 200 dollars course absolutely free just for being a, a viewer of the steve eckert show podcast and i will see you next time looking forward to seeing what you put your comments down below what would you choose the short and ripped or the tall and average looking looks only put your comments down below which one do you choose click that link in the pin post and, the, and in the description below for that free course and i will see you next time on the steve eckert show and in case no one told you yet today you are freaking awesome no excuses